The situation outside Brackenfell High School was calm on Tuesday. Provincial officials say they are concerned about the impact of the incident on learning. Thus, after a group of angry parents confronted EFF supporters protesting outside the school amid allegations of racism. Uh, these kind of disruptions are not acceptable when matrics are, have had a really disruptive year as it is. COVID-19 has put so much pressure on anybody trying to finish their final exams. And so uh, my message as well is that uh, to the EFF, uh, you, you may not come and disrupt, uh, uh, disrupt this, uh, this community. Uh, you need to stay out. Uh, we need to keep the politics away from, from the school right now and we need to give the, learner every, the learners every single opportunity for them to complete their year. The allegations of racism come after 42 white learners allegedly attended a private metric function. Provincial education authorities say it was not organized or funded by the school. I have asked for a detailed written report on this particular incident now, given, um, you know, I've asked a number of questions, but there are a number more that I do have. And I, I'm going to wait until I get the complete written report before I respond to any more details. But, um, you know, the indications are, from what I've had so far, is it was a private party, that it wasn't discriminated on the basis of race, and that, you know, certainly not all white learners were involved, were invited either. The Human Rights Commission has also condemned the incident. And based on social media reports and what has happened yesterday, we have initiated our own initiative complaint um, to investigate um, the allegations in terms of alleged racism. And also the commission um, severely condemns the acts of violence that happened yesterday. At this stage, all that I can say, we've initiated a complaint. I'm here at the school because we need to listen to both parties to get more information to further assess the matter and conduct a full-scale investigation. President Cyril Ramaphosa also called for an urgent investigation into allegations of racism at the school. Describing the confrontation as deeply regrettable, he urged all parties involved to act responsibly. A 39-year-old man arrested for discharging an air gun during the clashes is due in court on Wednesday. Corbin August, SABC News, Cape Town.